SR Linux. What makes it special? In today's business world, network connectivity is essential. Mission-critical customer applications are hosted in the data center and IT operations teams are tasked with ensuring that the data center fabric operates smoothly. The basic building blocks of a data center network fabric include servers that host applications, leaf and spine switches that switch traffic within the building, and data center gateways, which send traffic outside to other locations. The fabric can extend across multiple data centers through the data center gateway. The Nokia data center fabric solution has all the building blocks required to plan, deploy and operate data centers of any scale for any customer segment. The hardware platforms are available in common form factors by the 7220 and 7250 interconnect routers for data center fabrics. For the data center gateway, one hardware option is the 7250 interconnect router. The 7220 and 7250 IXR for data center fabrics are powered by the Nokia SR Linux Network Operating System, or NOS. SR Linux is a modern NOS that is open, extensible and programmable. SR Linux was built with a cloud-native design philosophy in which the operating system itself is composed of independent and modular services that all share a common in-part database. Each network protocol is implemented by a separate service, allowing them to be enabled, disabled or even upgraded independently. Each service also has their own data model based on the Yang language, with all its configuration and state information. These data models can be accessed by common management APIs, such as GNMI or NetConf, for integration with any type of northbound management and control system. All services are managed through the same management layer. This common data in management architecture greatly enhances operations, especially the ability to automate networks at large scale. Within each node, the data from each service is published to the Shared Impart Database, or IDB. Each service can also subscribe to any data from other services from the IDB, optimizing inter-process communication. This open architecture was implemented on top of an unmodified Linux OS, giving customers the option to create and run their own applications inside the routers. Within the service architecture of SR Linux, there is a powerful toolkit called NetOps Development Kit, or NDK, which allows customers to take advantage of its openness by providing an ability to create customized applications to extend the NOS. As part of the internal architecture to support NDK, Nokia has implemented the NDK Manager, which acts as a proxy between the NDK applications in the IDB. It uses the gRPC protocol, which enables writing applications in a variety of common programming languages including Python, Go, c C, C++, Java and JavaScript. Custom-built applications make use of the same underlying SR Linux architecture and infrastructure, with configuration and state stored in the IDB using their own custom Yang models. One example that illustrates the power of the NDK is the ChatGPT application, which integrates the SR Linux to the ChatGPT large language model, enabling interactions with SR Linux using natural language. Using this application is very simple. Directly from the CLI prompt, instead of typing a command, the user can simply ask a question to the system in a natural language. Examples could include, check the health of my system, or tell me about a certain routing protocol, or please upgrade my system. This question is intercepted by the ChatGPT application based on keywords contained in the question. The application collects contextual information to augment the data that will be processed by the large language model. This could include live network state data from the IDB and or segments of the SR Linux documentation embedded in the application. The application then sends an API call to OpenAI with a question, 
along with any associated contextual information that will enable the large language model to analyze the question more deeply. OpenAI receives this request and processes the question and associated information. It then returns a natural language response back to the application, which in turn will show the response back to the user. There are several benefits that networking teams enjoy from this ability to extend and customize their network operating system, which includes take back control of your network environment and control your own destiny. NDK applications are programmable in any language of your choice. The NDK application is system independent and does not require a recompile if the system is being upgraded. The NDK application is treated just like any other service in the system in its architectural implementation and lifecycle management. NDK applications are integrated into the operating system with full access to routing or forwarding table and any other state information from the system. In general, there are no real limits to what an NDK application can do or accomplish from a NOS extension perspective. The limits are only your own imagination and creativity.